is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I'm here to help. Today we're going to talk about charts. Oh yes, we talked about tables once before um, and now we're going to talk about charts and the chart is going to have a table with it. So let's get started. If I'm going to show you two different types of uh, charts because I know some people might be students watching and some might be adults. And so I'll show you kind of two different perspectives of it. Yeah, for the students, if you have to do maybe a science lab and you have to create a chart from the table of all your data. So the information that you have, that you've collected, is your data. What you're going to do is you're going to come up here to insert. You're going to go all the way to chart. You're going to decide which kind of chart do you want. They show you pictures so you can see column, one's going up and down. Think about like the um, big white columns in front of the White House. They go vertical up and down. Okay. You have line charts. Literally, they're lines. Pie charts. Those are the circle ones. Um, bar charts. Same as the column, only they go sideways. Okay. There's different types for each thing. There's area charts, X, Y, scatter, lots of dots, some lines, stock, surface, and radar. We are going to create a column chart today. So we will start with, let's get a little fancy here. We'll do a 3D column so it looks, it's, it's the same idea as the cluster column. It's just um, in 3D. So we'll click on that. And what's going to happen is it says opening chart data in Excel. Now, I know we're doing Word, but when you do a chart, your data goes into a table type format in Excel. It says chart in Microsoft Office Word. So this is not, it's technically Excel, but really it's for Word because of what we're doing. So what you're going to do here is it gets you started with just like a sample and you have to do, then put in your information. So if you are doing let's say an experiment with gummy bears and you want to see how they change in length for depending on what liquid they're in, you're going to put here, let's see, we'll put the liquids in the category section. So let's put water, we'll do salt water, uh, vinegar, and baking soda. And then our series, we only have two series. It's going to be the before. How long were they before? Oops. And how long were they after they were in each liquid? Since we don't have anything here, we're going to come down to this little corner right here. And while you, all you have to do is click and drag it in. And now only this is going to be included. So we can get rid of all this. So that little tiny, it's like a, let's see if I can zoom in so you can see it better. There we go. Now you can see it real good. There's a little tiny, like a backwards L in the corner here. That's telling you what information is going to be part of your chart. If I wanted to have more, maybe I need to have more, I click and drag however much I need it to have. And it's going to put more information in here. You just type it in, you type it in down here, and then it becomes part of your chart. We only have this much information, so we're going to have only this selected. So our numbers now, we need to put that in. Now our length before was only two centimeters. Afterwards, it is definitely grown. In water, it grew double. Salt water, it went to 2.5. For vinegar, we went all the way up to 4.5, and our baking soda went to 3. Now, you might think, okay, what am I supposed to do from here? Well, all you have to do is click over to your Word, because right now we're in Excel, and boom, there is your chart. It took all the data that you just put in Excel, and it created the chart automatically. Here's our chart now. Right now there's nothing labeled. We're going to decide how we want this to look. 
you come up to chart design, I'm in Word, chart design, I can choose certain type of colors. If I want to, I can change the chart, how it looks. This puts in the little labels for us. Um, what else we got here? Well, that's an interesting one. <laughs> so it all just depends on how you want it to look. Go back to our starting point here. Now, all the way over here, we have chart elements. There is axis, so your primary horizontal, primary vertical, and the depth. Axis titles, so that's like your, you have your, um, not the chart title, but the axis. So you have your vert, uh, sorry, horizontal axis, which is along th this part here, your vertical up and down, and your depth. You have your chart title, that's this guy, he's already on there. You can have it above it, centered overlay, I'll show you what that looks like, it's more squished in with it. Or you can have no chart title at all. We want to have it above. So it gives a little space. Data labels, there's already data labels on there, so it's either we can leave it alone or we can say none. I'm going to say none. There's a reason for that. <clears throat> data table, okay, this is why I didn't want data labels. Um, data table is where you can have the table with all your data in with this chart. I kind of like that because then you can have both. If you don't like it squished with it, you can um, create your own table right underneath the chart or above it. That's up to you. But this will do it for you. So I'm going to say, see, and it puts it right in there for you. Okay. There's grid lines. That's these lines right here. You can have the hor horizontal or vertical. And then there's a legend. And right now it's at the bottom, but you can have it off to the side. See, this is the legend right here before and after. That's telling you what each thing, what each color means. So all the blues are the afters, all the greens are the befores. I don't like it on the bottom, that's just my personal preference. I like it more to the side on the right. But that's just me. You can put it where you like or where your teacher wants. Your layout. Now, after doing everything we just did, <laughs> um, you might not want to go here, but if you like one of these quick layouts, you can choose this and it will put in things for you. Now this put in the vertical axis title, but it didn't put in the horizontal one. Let's see if we can find one with both. Hmm, this one looks like it would have both, but it didn't have so we're going to add our table. So now we have our access title. So length in cent. Oh, if there's a space, right? Yeah. Cent centimeters down here. This access title. Is our liquid liquids and then our chart title? Oops, did that open? I double clicked too much. There we go. Is going to be gummy bears change in length. So And like I said, you don't have to have the table right here with it. You can take that off, say none. Here's just the chart. If you want to click outside of it, where'd I go? Ah, come back. 
That's why I love the undo. There we go, I didn't click outside of it enough. And then from here you can just insert your own table. And that is entirely up to you. You would have four and two, or we can do it the other way around. And you can just put your own stuff in here. So you could say, oops, actually I need five. We'll insert a column. There we go. So here you would have water, salt water, vinegar, and baking soda. And then here we'd have the before and the after. And then you put your information in. You can create your own table. Totally up to you how you like to do it. But that is one type of chart. Now, if you didn't like how this chart looked, you can come all the way to the right on chart design, all the way over to the right, change chart type. Maybe you'd rather have it horizontally. Let's do that. That's a different look for it. And actually, this way actually looks a little bit better with the table. It's kind of spaces out a little bit better. But it's however you like. Now, if you were here and you had already X'd out of Excel, let's do that. Quit Excel. Okay. So we're in Word. We have our chart. But we're like, oh man, you know what? I have the wrong information. Now, you, oops, close that. You just need to go, as long as it's selected, see the little handles, you just come up here to Edit Data in Excel. It's, it's opening. There we go. And it brings it up for you, and then you can change whatever it is you like. Maybe the after for baking soda was wrong, it really was five. Okay, whatever you change here, it's going to change it here. Here's the baking soda. Here's our after, all the way to five. It changed it for us. Now, here's some fun stuff before I show you the other. Here's all your things that you have in your chart. Back wall, chart area, chart title. You could come in here and select something. Here's your legend. Okay, It'll select it for you. And now you can play around with what color do you want to fill it in? Green. Hmm. A little hard to read, but it's fun. There's a little easier to read. Um, this part is your shape outline. So if you wanted to have a line around it, you could. It's a little hard to see. It's a little orange type of line around it. If you don't like to come up in here to select what you want, you could just click right on it. But if you're not sure if you have the right thing selected, then you can come in here. So right now I have the horizontal um, grid line for the horizontal axis is selected. Even though it looks vertical. It's because we changed our chart type. The chart area is the whole thing. So if I change the color of that, let's go, there we go, then it will change that whole background color. Okay. Here's your different <laughs> glow. You can have the whole chart have a glow. Sure. Because who doesn't want a chart with a glow around it? Of course, we're getting a little crazy here. Oops, back to format. We'll just say no. There we go. The glow shows up much better now. Now your text, if you want to select like the title, you can have that be a different color. You can also have the fill color of that box be a color. You might want a little more bolder 
color. There we go. A little easier to see. And of course, the same thing here. So this is all for your text. Text fill, your text outline, your text effects. So you can have a glow on that too if you want. If you're really into the glow. See, my text has a glow now. So you have shape and you have text. This all has to do with the text. This has to do with the shape. Here's your size. Make my chart bigger. You can also use your handles to resize it. Entirely up to you how you want to do it. Okay. Okay, so let me show you. There we go. Let me show you the other chart. If I was to do a different type of chart, insert chart, let's do another column. Actually, we could do a pie. Once again, it's going to open up our Excel. Okay, we're going to talk about somebody's grades. Rosa, here's our quarters. We're going to leave it alone because that's exactly what we want is different quarter grades. Now, first quarter she didn't do so good, but then she kind of started studying a little better. Oops, got an 80, then she got an 88, and then she really did well the last quarter. So she just really got better and better and better. Maybe she got a tutor. Who knows? Okay. So there's our information, our data. Come back to Word. And there's Rosa's grades for all four quarters. So once again, I'll zoom out a little so you can see it better. Come to your chart design. You can change Rosa's colors. This is something I didn't show you before, but... Um, and it will change it for you. But if you don't like the colors that they pick for you, you can change it to what colors you want. All you do is click once on your chart. Now that selected everything, you will see handles throughout. You click one more time on the specific piece that you want to change, and now only that piece is selected. There's no more handles around the whole thing. Then you're going to come up to your format your shape fill and you pick the color you want. Now that one piece is purple. If I didn't select just that piece and I have the whole thing selected, the whole thing is going to change. So you want to make sure you click once to select it and then click one more time to select the piece. Let me undo. Okay. So now you're not double clicking. There's, there's a difference. If you double click, we're, we're just, I mean, nothing really happened. So you want to make sure you click once, then click, just hold on again, you know, just pause for a second, and click again to get that, just that one piece. Maybe we want that one to be purple. We want this piece to be kind of like a peachy color and we click on this piece and we'll make this one we'll make this one the green and this last piece maybe we'll leave this last piece a little well we'll make it more of a maybe a red there we go okay now you'll notice that each time that I change a color here it's changing it down here as well in our legend Okay, now our chart design, remember we can choose a quick layout if we would like something that we see here. Here's one that has almost everything we need. And then we can just add things that we want, like our chart title. Now if 
with the pie, you might want to have data labels. Now they're showing you here each picture for what it will look like. So you can have it in the center of the piece, the inside end of the piece. So it's still on the piece, but it's more towards the end of it, the outside edge of it. This is the outside end, so it's outside of the pie piece, right near it. And then there's a best fit, so it'll decide what is best for it. So we're going to do center. So all of our numbers are in there. If we want here's where our legend. See now you'll notice the data table is grayed out. You can't have it on here. So you for the pi you would have to create your own table, which you know again you, you know how to do and if you forgot you can um, look back previously when I did this one but I didn't explain it very well because I already have a video on making tables. So you can look back at my video on making tables and create yourself a table down here for your pie chart. You just click outside of, let me get rid of this guy, click outside of your uh, chart and hit enter a couple times so that you're underneath it and, um, and just create your table. Put all your information in there. I'll show you up here for this one because it's a different type of chart, but it's the same idea. For changing the color of each bar, you're clicking once. Now look, there's handles on all the pieces okay, on each bar. We don't want all of them to be the same color, so we're going to click one more time. Now with this particular type of chart, you kind of want all your befores to be one color and all your afters to be a second color. So if you don't like the colors that are picked here, you'll have to just change each one. You change that one. You just change, but once you pick a color, you just click in here. You don't have to click the down arrow and go to the color again. You just click right in this main part of the tool and that will change it to whatever is the last color you chose. There we go. That's a nice color together, okay. And down here, just because it's a pie chart doesn't mean we can't change all the colors of like the title and stuff like that. We can still do that. We can pick fancy stuff for up there as well. We can make it glow. All that. If you want. I want to give a little better of a title though. Rosa's, Rosa's of Grades. There we go. Explains a little bit better. We can also have our outside have a color. Maybe we want, hmm. Well, I'll pick something crazy just so you see that it will fill it. Okay. Now remember up here, I, I just clicked in this open area which selected the entire thing. But you can click here to get your chart area or here to get your chart title. Or your legend. Maybe you want your legend to have a different fill color. Maybe, uh, I don't know. You can go to more colors if you want. But it just depends on which, whatever color you like. Okay. If you want, To have a picture. Now I've never needed to do this, so I have not done it myself, but let's see what would happen. You can have a picture. Now I, I haven't done it because of this. Your chart is going to block your picture. So it seems a little silly to have a picture there, but entirely up to you. You can actually oops, take these. Oh. We can make our chart bigger and smaller. I was trying to move it. You can move it, the pieces, make it an exploding pie. Now it's exploded. That's what they call that. You don't have to do that. You can keep them together. But yeah, you can't really move the, the chart out of the way for the picture. So it seems silly to have a picture there. Oh, see, that was my bad. 
I forgot to click off of it. There we go. There. And that pretty much is charts. Leave a comment down below for what you'd like to see me work on next. If you have a question on charts, you can leave that below as well. Click that like button if you liked what you heard and saw. And subscribe so that you know when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much and have a nice day.